Hey everyone, I thought I would show off the latest build, Space Alone. This is a file that I picked up from Radic Ignatow. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Apologies if I'm butchering that one. But uh, this has been on my back uh, burner here for quite a while. I needed a box and I finally um, found a box that was going to work um, for this one. And um, I did the old um, spray paint treatment and then um, used an AI program to sort of create the different uh, pieces here to put on the box. But uh, let's just open this up. I took a little bit of license with this build and uh, let's just take a look. All right, so inside the box, went ahead and put this graphic in here. Um, the Both the lid and the bottom of the box had some kind of an insert that was glued to it and it was real ugly. So just dressed it up with some, uh, some fun graphics there that were theme appropriate. And then I went ahead here, these are the actual playing boards, right? And these are um, printed um, about twice as big. Um, and um, I felt like these were sort of the epic pieces, right? You are adventuring on planets, you're repairing um, rooms on your spaceship and pods and different things like that. And so you have the spaceship here and you have, a, um, this is a, uh, uh, I think it is a um, space station, maybe? Another ship. This is another ship. Uh, so this is the uh, space station. Here you go. And um, if I get it right, this is how it is. <laughs> Just like this. And uh, and then, of course, the um, character sheet where it has all of the resources on here that you can gather, all of the different things that you can do um, with it and things to keep track of. Laminated these. Um, and again, I felt like having them on a, on a larger size here was... Um, more conducive to sort of that epic epic game feel that I was looking for. So there's that. Um, I went ahead and um, made an insert. And so these are all of the playing pieces um, for the game. You have different various um, cubes here to keep track and they go on the different um, places here to keep track of the um, number of things that you are finding and where you are in the level um, of uh, gathering your resources, etc. like so. So that's exactly kind of how that works out. Um, there are rovers here. These are enemy rovers. Um, you got enemies that you might be up against um, here. And I went ahead and attached the standees to some chipboard and kind of uh, uh, made them a little more substantial. And then it really is a game for up to four players. So each player would get an astronaut, a drone, and a rover. Um, to create as you are adventuring around the board and doing things and gathering your resources. Um, I don't know that I'll ever really play this with more than just a solo type of game, but um, there is that. Um, and then um, the cheat sheets, map, help, and then the help card here for um, different actions and things that you can do on your ship and um, like that. And then, so the other thing I was really thinking about with the game is that um, it comes with some fabulous maps, right? And um, I think really they were meant to be done individually, but I was thinking, man, um, let's combine them, right? And let's put them all in a book. Um, this way they're alphabetical here. And um, as you see, you can kind of go through and then I can flip to the map that I'm going to be adventuring on for that particular mission and just kind of flip it over and it stays um, like that to be moving your character around on uh, like so. Um, just like that. Um, and uh, so I felt like this was a, a great way to sort of keep things organized and uh, to have things um, in a little more orderly fashion, like I say. I think if I was going to do this book again, I might have the map and then a picture of the, of the planet, right? And then over here, I would have the map and a picture of the planet. I think that it occurred to me after I created it um, as I was looking at this image here, that that might be a cool way to sort of draw some more immersion into the planet that you are um, on. Uh, so um, maybe maybe I'll uh, get to uh, putting a, together another book like that. But that's the map book, Dirt Side. And it's a reference to the Battle Station's Dirt Side um, game that I am uh, putting together as well. Um, now, the Space Alone, right? So this is the rule book. And this is the original graphic that uh, Radek put together for his game, and um, the rules uh, um, are in here, and explains all of the pieces, parts of the game. And then the Space Alone, the Away Missions. So this is another one where 
Um, I think these are made to actually be cut apart and used separately. So instead of that, again, just combined them in a book here. They're laminated so I can write on them if I need to. Um, some of these have different marks that you're sort of keeping track of things and um, that you as you're doing stuff and finding different resources for them as well. These also include uh, expansions. This is the Secrets of the Moon. And uh, what is this one? Into the Abyss. Um, and there's the little blurb mission rundown on the Abyss. And then the Forbidden Knowledge mission. So this is another one that is an expansion and along with the Armor of Night. Um, so there you go. So that is the Away mission book. I felt like that also kind of helped things to just kind of stay a little more uh, orderly and neat there. And then lastly, the... <sighs> underside the back of the box so that is it my friends and then all of this stuff just kind of drops right back in here just like so and that is space alone what do you think